search is on for the next chair of Florida's Democratic Party. It comes as the current leader, Manny Diaz, abruptly resigned on Monday after overseeing a series of brutal defeats during the November midterms. Our Capitol reporter, Forrest Saunders, joins us live from Tallahassee tonight. And Forrest, whoever takes over for Diaz, what are they jumping into exactly? Well, let's just set the stage for you because it really cannot be overstated how poorly Democrats performed during the midterms. Republicans not only swept the Florida cabinet, they retained the governor's office, a U.S. Senate seat, and the GOP is coming back to the legislature this year with super majorities in both chambers. After multiple major defeats on election night, including that near 20 point reelection victory for Florida's governor. Governor, he's red, blue. Party chair for the Florida Democrats, Manny Diaz, resigned Monday, sending members this massive letter attributing failures mainly to lack of resources, volunteers, and crummy messaging. Quote, maybe it is not always about trying to fix something that is broken. Maybe it is about starting over and creating something better. One thing is clear. They have to go in a totally new direction. Political expert Dr. Susan McManus says the next leader will have quite the challenge. Not only will they need to boost fundraising and drastically improve the Dem ground game, but also find a way to reach Florida's youth. Democrats cannot win without a substantial portion of the younger voters who are increasingly turning their back on both parties and registering as no party affiliation. But who's best suited for the job? Names are already surfacing. Some speculate former Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed will make a run as the last Democrat to win statewide office in Florida. <laughs> Online, Tallahassee City Commissioner Jeremy Matlow said he's interested. Also, former state Senator Annette Tadeo. We are not a monolith, the, de the Democratic Party, and we need someone who realizes that. But as progressives like Rep. Angie Nixon point out, whoever takes over will need to appeal to the party's diverse members fractured over what went wrong in 2022 and how to move forward. We need someone who's going to bring us together, basically. Republicans, meanwhile, continue to tout their strength, including the governor, who offered this dig Tuesday morning. In terms of the resignation, you know, of the other party's chairman, uh, there ain't many, as many Democrats around as there used to be in the state of Florida, and we had something to do with that in November of 2022. <laughs> Now, we did reach out to the Florida Democrats to find out what the next steps will be following the chair's departure. We have yet to hear back, but here's what I can tell you what the bylaws say for the party. They will need to have some kind of meeting here in the next 30 days to come up with a temporary chair. And then after that, they will have that chair serve until the uh, executive committee can meet to formally select a new chair. So that is the very latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.